Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I have a whole mess of new makeup that I wanted to try out today. So we're going to do a little try on haul, a little wear test on this stuff. I was shopping at Ulta, a little bit online, a little bit in store. Mainly I was shopping for this new Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation that you guys have asked me to do a Foundation Friday on and I will be doing a Foundation Friday on that soon. Um, but while I was in Ulta, I picked up some other things that people had mentioned or that I noticed that there were new launches of. I'm starting pretty much bare face, didn't do anything with my hair today, just got up and um, you know did my normal skincare routine. I already have my sunscreen on. So let's just dig into all this new makeup. Why don't you come in a little closer? I will get my hair out of the way and we'll just get a move on with this guy. I grabbed a couple of new primers. Face primer I got is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. This is supposed to be a 12 hour mattifying, shine controlling, pore shrinking primer. I don't really prime my whole face. I just tend to put primer on where I need it, like where I have enlarged pores and stuff. So that's pretty much the fronts of my cheeks and right here on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. So I've just got that primer all pressed in there and I'm going to wait for that to set up for a minute while we use um, the second primer that I got, which is an eyeshadow primer. These are from Physicians Formula. It comes in a two pack. There's a matte and a shimmer. Oh, it's got a wand. I was expecting it to be a squeezy tube. So it's got a little wand in there. So I'm just going to pop that on my eyelid. I feel like it's adding a little bit of color to my eyelid, not too much. Like it's not really opaque. It's not like a MAC paint pot. And that went on pretty, pretty nicely. I think I'm going to try the shimmer one on the other eyelid because why not? Let's just <laughs> have mismatched eyeballs today. Well, that's pretty. I wonder if that could be just like you could use that as an eyeshadow on its own. I mean, it, since it's shimmery, I wouldn't use it above the crease. I just use it below the crease and maybe use the matte one above. There's the color on the shimmery one. It's a really pretty like salmon-y pink. And this one is a nice neutral color as well. Let's check in on the one heck of a blot and see what it is doing. Wow, it really has like mattified and smoothed those areas over pretty nicely. So let's go ahead with the foundation next. I picked up the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. I actually got this in two shades. This only comes in a limited shade range. I think it costs like $8.99, so it's a great price point. I reviewed the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation last year, and that one was a real winner, but it kind of made me nervous because it smelled like house paint. I was wondering if they were just the same formula, so I've already checked the ingredients. Um, they are different ingredients. This contains a natural coconut derivative, so it is supposed to be hydrating, luminous, lightweight, and buildable. This one is neutral beige, which is light slash medium cool and we have nude beige which is light slash medium warm. So I'm going to try one on one side and one on the other side. We will see what happens. Just going to check color to start. Mm, seems like it might be a little light, possibly a little cool. Yeah, I feel like that one's a better shade for me. I'm noticing already that this one does have a fragrance. It's not the fragrance of house paint, so that is awesome. Yeah, kind of a florally fragrance. Wow, I was expecting this to be a little more lightweight when it said lightweight and buildable, but it seems to offer some pretty decent coverage. So what's on the agenda today? I have a call with a company at 1.30, and before that, I think I'm going to go to Costco because my dog is out of her fish oil pills, so I gotta get those. And I wanted to get the real Rogaine, the foam, and try that because I've finished with the generic minoxidil liquid and I don't really like how that feels. Um, okay, so there's the foundation. Let me just take a look at it in my up-close mirror. That actually doesn't look bad. It's a little luminous for me right now, but it's not quite set. There are a couple places where it needs a little blending out. So um, I have for under eye concealer today a new makeup launch from Pacifica. Are you guys familiar with this Pacifica brand? I always see it at Ulta. I love their packaging. They have a whole line of skincare. But anyway, they've launched makeup. And so I picked up a bunch of their makeup. I'm going to use their concealer, the blush, and the mascara today. So this is their Transcendent Concentrated Concealer. Um, and this has all natural ingredients. It's vegan. It's cruelty free. I picked it up in the shade light. Hopefully hmm, with this foundation, it's not going to be way too light. It's a nice warm color, you know, it's nice peachy. So it's going to cancel out the blue under there. I'm going to use a sponge on this side. Hmm, 
That's actually a nice looking brightening concealer. What does it look like up close? Um, it's a little patchy, I gotta say. It's not really blending in terribly well. It's The concealer's kind of a hot mess. So sad. Such a bummer. So yeah, it's kind of getting a little scaly and patchy there, and it's just like not covering this one little area of blueness there. Same over here. A little scaly and patchy where it kind of meets up with the foundation. So I picked up the Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. This is supposed to set, mattify, blur, and smooth. First I'm going to set the under eyes with it. I feel like this foundation can definitely use setting because it's still tacky and a little too luminous and dewy for me. It seems like a really, really fine powder. I kind of like it. Definitely translucent. Didn't add any color. Let's take a look at that up close since, you know, I can't see anything, so. I'm so bumming about this uh, Pacifica situation under here. Well, we'll give them another chance with their blush and what's this stuff called? Mascara. All right, so let's go with the blush. It's their Blushus, Blushus Coconut and Rose Infused Cheek Color in their Universally Flattering Camellia. Oh, it's so cute. Very small little packaging. Hmm. It's a nice color. I feel like it's nice. I feel like I don't even really need a highlighter with that. Good job Pacifica on the blush. Okay, um, so then the bronzer that I picked up is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I was trying to get this a couple weeks ago and I ended up getting the BB bronzer instead because I thought butter bronzer, BB bronzer, same thing, but anyway it's not. Um, and a lot of you guys had said that you love this and so I should try it anyway. So I got it. If you like the smell of coconut, you'll like this. I'm not a big fan of those kinds of scents. I'm just going to apply it up here around the edges of my hairline. How's that look? It's a nice color. So the eyeshadow palette that I was so psyched about is Morphe palette. They had a Morphe display in my Ulta and they had giant palettes like 32 or 64 colors. I went with one of the smaller ones. Um, this one has, I believe it's 25 pans and this is the bronzed mocha palette. This was only $18 for all of these eyeshadows. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, 25 pans of color, and you know what it really reminded me a ton of? Is this Violet Voss palette that I love so much. This guy was 45, I wanna say. But look, right? I mean, five less pans and almost the exact same mix of colors. So I'm like, wow, for 18 bucks, if these, you know, and I've only heard great things about Morphe eyeshadows. So, I mean, if these are actually fantastic, then, hmm, uh-huh. Yeah, save some money there. For the lightest shade, I'm gonna stick with the taupey one. So I'm gonna go with this guy in the middle here. Oh, that is pretty. Not that you need an 18 pan eyeshadow palette to do a single color eyeshadow look, but that, could be your eyeshadow look for the day. If you're not big into, you know, multicolored eyeshadows. Okay, and th on this side, I'm going over the um, the shimmer eye primer, and that side is the matte, let's not forget. And let's just choose a color that's a little bit darker than that one. So let's go with this guy right here. Well, that is such a pretty color. These are gorgeous. Let's just darken it up a little bit more at the outer corner. So here we go with Worky. It looks like it's a shimmer on here, but it doesn't seem to come off very shimmery. Uh-oh. Fallout. <laughs> I've just ruined the makeup even more. Oh my gosh. And let's use one of these pretty shimmery colors. The under eye situation just is going from bad to worse. <laughs> I feel like this under eye concealer has come off completely already. You know, like take a look under there. It's like all blue and discolored. I'm not sure if that's fallout or if it didn't last under there. So, okay, here comes the 100% vegan cruelty-free mascara from uh, Pacifica called Aquarian Gaze, which has coconut, kelp, and vitamin B, and the color is Abyss. I feel like that's really nice mascara. My eyelashes are um, separated. It gave them a little extra length, a little extra volume. I'm happy with it. Okay, the only thing I'm really unhappy with is the under eyes, which I think I am going to 
just call it a day on this. This was an epic fail. I'm going to switch that out. I'm going to go with my tried and true. Um, but since this is mainly drugstore, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Age Rewind. So let me slap that on there and I'll be right back. I took off the other concealer. I redid my under eyes with this. It is so smooth and so perfect. And, oh, the lippy that I got is from Milani. This is the Amore Matte Lip Cream and this is the shade Adorable, my favorite word. Very much like the color. Wow, that took long enough. Makeup is done. Oh, I forgot the setting spray. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. I don't really feel like I need to get totally mattified since I did put on the powder, but I want to try this. Hmm, I feel like the look is so pretty right now that I really don't want to put this on. Should we just do half the face and see what happens? It's going to go like this. You ready? So that'll be a fun experiment. We'll see which side stays matter. I feel like this side went dewier just because it's wet right now, but let's see when it dries. And here's what it looks like up close and personal. I think it's a really, really pretty makeup look. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the foundation um, with the exception of, you know, settling in the wrinkles up here. But overall, I think it looks really pretty. The blush I think is gorgeous. And the lipstick though, right now before I go, I just wanted to let you know, it's a little bit drying on my lips already. Not like quite the desert, but I feel like it's making my lips look super wrinkly. All right, so I need to go run my errands. So I'll be back in a little while after my Costco run. All right, we are at about the six hour mark with the makeup. I have to say that it is so shiny, especially on the mattified side. Um, that it's kind of driving me crazy. I feel like it's accentuating all my texture. This side is a little bit better, but I just wanted to show it to you because I'm just going to powder it over a little bit. Just, you know, reset it to see how that does and then see how much wear I can get out of it. I gotta say it's wearing well. It's in place. It's not sliding around. It's not really fading, shockingly. little translucent setting powder works wonders. Hey, welcome back. It's now the end of the day. I've had the makeup on for about eight hours. Oh my gosh, I'm watching YouTube videos. Let me pause that. Getting caught up with my uh, YouTube video watching. So um, what's the verdict on today's makeup after eight hours? Um, I actually don't think it looks too, too bad for um, where is the foundation for an $8.99 like cushion compact foundation? I think this is held up really nicely. Is it going to be like a holy grail and a rave? Mm, not really, but um, that's because it did settle in my wrinkles up here. Once I did kind of buff it out and then set it with powder, it didn't have any real problems with it settling into lots of other wrinkles. It's a little bit too luminous for me uh, on its own. If you like a luminous foundation and you don't have any wrinkles, then maybe it could be great for you. I don't know. But good staying power. I feel like it's still in place mainly. It really hasn't worn off after eight hours. It's a little worn off here on my nose and like over here where my scarf rubs and here where my sunglasses were, but okay. Okay, so what else? What did I love today? I love this little Pacifica vegan cruelty free blush. I know a lot of you guys are looking for like cruelty free products, vegan products. Um, this was really pretty and I think that it is kind of a universal color. It has just the right amount of like shimmeriness to it, but it doesn't have any glitter in it. It just has the prettiest little sheen over the top so that you don't have to put on a highlighter with it and that saves you a step and some money. For drugstore stuff, these are a little expensive. I think this was like $11.99 for this tiny blush and it really is tiny. It only has uh, 0.10 ounces in there, so super tiny. Um, the other big winner of the day I feel like is the Morphe palette. I love this eye look. I love these colors and especially where I thought it looked so much like that much, much, much more expensive uh, Violet Voss palette. Um, that one $45, this one $18 for more shades and about the same ones. And they are so beautiful, so blendable. They're not really crumbly. They're not really powdery. Really, really good. So psyched about that. And then um, the other winners from the day, I feel like were the Pacifica Mascara. It's waterproof and it's vegan. And so my eyes felt good all day. You know, I'm a contact wearer and it didn't bother my eyes and it hasn't flaked or smudged at all, all day. So really nice mascara. Um, then I really like the Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder. I thought this was really successful. I mean, it didn't keep my face completely matte all day. We saw that it got a little shiny in the afternoon, but just reapplying this 
this and then bam everything was good again so really like that it really blurred my pores and smoothed everything over so that was a really nice setting powder um, the fails for me were definitely oh my gosh the worst of the bunch was <laughs> the milani lippy oh, just awful awful made my lips look so old so disgusting it was so dry absolutely hated it the pro on it is the staying power because this is still it from this morning even putting another gloss on over it didn't make it come crumbling off my face so if you want something that's super long wearing but you don't mind your lips looking wrinkly um <laughs> Maybe you'll like this. So that was a dud. And then the Pacifica under eye concealer. Oh my gosh, this was just awful. Like it wore off in five minutes. It didn't blend right into the foundation. It was like patchy and scaly and just bad so much so that I had to take it off and put on something else. And um, so those were the major high points and low points. The rest was just kind of in the middle. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of format where we just kind of casually run through our day uh, together and see how some makeup performs. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you for your time and really appreciate your watching. So take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.